Today, we're gonna to be looking at some of my favorite tools to solve software problems. Stay tuned. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some software utilities that are primarily geared at solving software problems. This is actually gonna be a two-part series, and in my next video, I'm actually gonna do software that I use to solve hardware problems. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that video. And also, if you like this kind of content, then please like this video. Now, without further ado, let's get to the list. So the first utilities that we're gonna look at today are actually two different utilities, and that's Auto Runs and Process Explorer. And I typically use these utilities together with each other because they both kind of complement each other. So these are both utilities made by SysInternals, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download them yourself. So let's take a look at what they do. So typically what I'll normally start with is Process Explorer. And what Process Explorer does is it actually goes through and shows all of the different services that are currently running on the computer right now. So these are all the files that are actually opened in memory currently. And then Auto Runs actually shows what starts up with Windows. So these are all your different startup tasks. It also goes through the task scheduler and things of that nature. So what you would do is the way you would use these in conjunction with each other is you'd go ahead and find the service or the program that you want to stop. Like, let's say we want to get rid of the Realtek Audio Manager here. So we would double click on it, and I typically would highlight the path, or at least the file name, to the process that's running, and go ahead and copy that. And then I would go into Auto Runs here, and then you click on these little binoculars right here, and then you would go ahead and paste in the file that you were looking for, and then you hit Find Next. And there it is. And once you uncheck that, it won't start with Windows the next time you reboot your computer. Now this comes in really handy and it's much more detailed than MS Config or the Task Manager. This way you can really dig down into the, the deepest parts of what starts up with Windows. And just be careful what you stop because um, you can actually cause damage to your computer if you uncheck the wrong services. There's been situations in the past where I've seen certain services that if you kill them, then for whatever reason you just can't get them started back up again so be careful with what you're playing with make sure that what you're killing is something that you actually want to kill and these actually are really helpful programs to help you get through problems of startup programs in Windows or stuff that's running in the background when you can't figure out what's taking up so many resources this is a great way to do it because this program here if you take a look right here you can actually see how much memory these things are actually using as well as the CPU that they're using in order to do whatever it is that they're doing in the background. So this could actually be really helpful troubleshooting all different kinds of things. Like right now, I'm doing a screen record and you can see that it's taking roughly about 8% of my CPU to do the screen record. So you can actually tell different services and how they affect your computer with using the combination between these two programs. And if you find something that you do want to eliminate, all you have to do is search for it in auto runs and you can stop it from starting with Windows when Windows starts. Now let's move on to the next utility. Now the next utility we're gonna look at is Revo Uninstaller. Now this thing has came in really handy with me several times. There's lots of times where you may have a program that's running on the computer that you wanna get rid of that you just simply the uninstaller simply won't work. Where you try to uninstall it through the control panel and the uninstaller doesn't function the way that it's supposed to. And for that, Revo Uninstaller is a great alternative. Let me show you how it works. So essentially, all Revo Uninstaller is is a more advanced add and remove programs. So if you have a program that you wanna get rid of, all you have to do is click on the program and push the uninstall button. And what this thing is gonna do is it's actually gonna to try to run the built-in installer first in order to try to uninstall it, you know, the way that it was designed to be uninstalled. And then if that doesn't work, it will actually go through and literally rip the program out of the computer. So if we go through, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it not to make a restore point, and then I'm gonna hit continue, and it's gonna to try to launch the factory uninstaller for the program. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes, and we'll go ahead and do the factory uninstaller. And there we go. It uninstalled 
installed it. So if the built-in uninstaller for this program wouldn't have worked, then this is actually where this program shines the most. Because what it's gonna do next is it's actually gonna go through and it's gonna look for files that are associated with that program and delete them all manually. Now this is also a great way to completely remove a program. Because not only does it remove what its uninstaller removes, but it also removes any files that might be left behind by that program. Let me show you how it does it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit OK here, and then we're gonna ask it which scan method we want it to use. I typically use moderate. So we're gonna go ahead and push the scan button, and it's gonna look for different files and registry entries that were left behind by the program. So here, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of leftover registry items. We're gonna go ahead and hit select all and then hit the delete button and it'll go ahead and delete all those registry entries. And then it's gonna look for different um, files that were left behind. So we're gonna hit select all and we're gonna hit delete, hit yes. And that's it, right there. Now we've had completely stripped that specific program off the computer. Now this actually works really, really well for programs with broken uninstallers. However, you have to be really careful using this as an uninstaller for your antivirus because I've found some cases to where once you remove the antivirus, Windows still thinks that antivirus is running. So there are certain issues that you could possibly have using this program, but if you have no other choice, then this is a great way to uninstall a program that won't uninstall on its own. Now, let's move on to the next utility. So the next utility that we're gonna look at today is a utility called Tree Size View. And this is a program made by Jam Software. And essentially what this one does is it just looks at your hard drive and it tells you where the files that are the biggest and are taking up the most space are located. Let me show you how it works. So what you do is once you get the program opened is you click on Select Directory right here and then go to your drives right here. So we're gonna click on our main drive and we're gonna hit select folder. And it's gonna go through and it's gonna look at this drive and it's gonna find where the most data is being used. And as we can see, it's the Windows folder. And if we open that up, it is WinSXS. And this is essentially where Windows keeps a lot of its system files and stuff like that. So if you have a program or if you have something that's taking up all your hard drive space and you can't figure out what it is, this is a great program to use. I've used this program to solve many problems in the past with customers that have you know, disk usage that is just basically full and they have no idea where their files are. I'll open this up and find out that their temp directory is using 75% of their hard drive. So this is a great program to use if you're looking for what's taking up all the space on your drive. So now let's move on to the next utility. So the next utility is a really simple utility, but it comes in really handy when you need it. And that's a program called Wireless Key View made by Nearsoft. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for this and all the other utilities that we've used in this video. But let me show you how this utility works. So if you look at this program, it shows a list of all the different access points that you've been attached to in the past and the passwords associated with those access points. And essentially, that's all it does. So if you forget the password to your wireless access point, all you have to do is look here and there's your password. So this is a really simple program to use and this one comes in handy all the time because you have no idea how often I ask somebody what their wireless password is and they have no clue. And there, there are customers that I have that have had their wireless set up years ago and have no clue what the password is. And they've gotten new devices over time and they can't connect those devices to their wireless network because they have no clue what the password is. And with this program right here, it's an easy way to at least find the password on, if you, as long as you have one Windows device that is connected to the network. You can actually pull the password out and you can connect your other devices to your network. So hopefully these utilities were useful to you. And if they were, then please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.